Hello, it's Claire aka The Sewing Bear 27 with you again. Doing it on a different format today. I'm doing it on the laptop in the sewing room again. Um, today I'm also going to look at my subscription fabrics that have built up quite a bit. So I've got a few with me that I'm going to go through and identify what I'm going to make. I've got a holiday up and coming in September, so I would actually like to make these garments um, to take on holiday with me. So starting off, I've just um, had a little look on the internet and I found that Victory Patterns are going to be releasing a jumpsuit stroke pants pattern. Um, I think it's pronounced Rowan, which is R O W E N A. I've got notes here. This is what I keep looking at, so I do apologise. Uh, the release date is on the 31st of July, um, and its sizes are ranging from a 0 to 18, which is a 32 to 44 B cup bust size, and the other size range is 14 to 30, which is um, bust size 42 to 58 in a D cup. If I work out how to do it, I will put in pictures here ish. If I don't work out how to do it, I will put it in the um, show notes uh, where the, the patterns are, and I'll put what pattern it is and a link to the website. So the first fabric that I thought. I would use is from a Beyond the Pink Door fabric and I picked up a piece of fabric um, extra to the piece I already had from Helen which is Express Repeat ex oh, I can't remember Helen I do apologize again I should put her details because she has an awesome um, UK uh, UK youtube presence and she's also on instagram and i'll put it in the notes um because she had it in her d stash and i love the fabric it's a sea of sucker and i thought it would make a lovely jumpsuit this is the fabric we're gonna hide um and it is as you can see it's lovely blues and a bit of green and you can see the texture of the sea of sucker and i i think it's a mixture of um roses obviously you can really see the roses here um and i think they may be i don't know i'm looking too deep into it so this i think would make a lovely jumpsuit it's a bit out of my comfort zone um in the respects of i'm a reasonably built young girl i use the young word loosely um and i'm quite short five foot two to be precise and I have five meters of this fabric and I wouldn't normally be making something in quite a pale fabric as a jumpsuit so I thought no I'm going to push the boat out I've got more than enough of this fabric it goes well with the wallpaper actually I've got more than enough of this fabric to be able to do the jumpsuit out of it so this is going to be weighted a little bit for when the jumpsuit patterns released on the 31st of July so my second um, fabric that I've chosen to do another indie pattern and this is um, due to Tamlin sewing on time I got that one right again I will link her down below and she's done quite a few pairs of these and I really fancy doing some foxy boxes from Gracie Still and this is a double gauze. Again, um, it's reasonably true to colour on the screen. It is out of a Beyond the Pink Door. And I forgot to say that about the other subscription fabric. That is out of one of the Beyond the Pink Door boxes. This is also out of Beyond the Pink Door. And I thought this would be lovely with um, a navy vest top or t-shirt or little tie front top. Yeah, do it um, as a plain fabric to go on the top, um, but have these as foxy boxes. Um, the size range with the foxy boxes, she's done it quite clever actually. She's she's used letters, so she, it's an A to a Q, and the hip size is 35.6 approximately to 60.6. And again, that is the foxy boxes 
from um, Gracie Steel. And I apologise again for looking down. So my next fabric is out of a So Haley Jane box. And I'm looking at doing... Uh, all of these patterns so far are first goes at doing these patterns. I'm looking at doing the Miller trousers. And this isn't out of a So Haley Jane box. This is actually out of a Beyond the Pink Doors. It's similar to one we've had recently at So Haley Jane. So this is um, beiges and browns. And it's got quite a big pattern on it. And I think it would be just quite nice. as quite loose fitting, elastic um, waist trousers. And I'm thinking of the Miller trousers from Paper Theory. They go from a size 6 to 28, which is 28 waist, to a 47.5 waist. Um, with a hip of 34 to 50, 57.5. And I think they would be quite nice. I do like hiding behind my fabric, don't I? So my next pattern, and I'm going to be honest, I I haven't written down the sizes for this one, um, is Size Me, and it's the Florence skirt, is what I'm thinking of for this one. And this is a So Haley Jane fabric. So this beautiful um, mixture of blues, purples, reds, sort of peachy cream colour, I think, or a sort of ready orangey colour in there, will be gorgeous as the Florence skirt. Again, I will link the details below so you can take a look. And this is, again, um, a subscription fabric out of So Haley Jane box this time. Um, uh, good old faithful pattern's going to come out, which I'm wearing another one of them, which is the sage brush top. Oh, that was a bit wobbly. So as you can see, it's got the little frill. I didn't. I took the elastic out of the sleeve um, because I didn't like it. It wasn't me. Um, again, I haven't done the bias binding around the neck. I preferred it without it. I faced the the um, front yoke and i've got to be honest this one's a little bit big but i love it so i am going to be doing another sagebrush top i seem to be a bit bluey and purpley today so this is a so Haley jane one this was my method of organizing my fabrics um so that's on there it's been washed um, and I thought this would make a lovely sagebrush top. Um, it's right up my street. It will go in my jeans. It will go in my um, blue work trousers, my black work trousers. And it, it will just be another workhorse. Um, might even go with my very favourite jeans, which is my plum coloured jeans um, that I love. Um, sagebrush tops, Friday Pattern Company. I'll link it down below because, again, I did not write down what I needed to write down I might actually do it straight as it should be out of the packet with that one I really fancy doing it it's a nice viscose and I quite fancy doing it as a straight out packet um so my last fabric I've seen this as a sagebrush top but I'm not going to make a sagebrush top this one is again out of um so Haley J it's probably the wrong time of year to be making this up with its little hearts and its black background for the hearts. But I'm thinking of doing um, a blouse out of this. Um, I haven't made up my mind which blouse, so I'm open to ideas. Um, but I just thought I'd add it into my pile of I am going to make up subscription boxes. This one I may do towards the end of the summer rather than doing it as part of my holiday makes um, but I want that one made up before the winter because it would be quite a nice um, piece to have underneath a cardigan or jacket and I again it would be it'd be a bit of a workhorse if I get the right blouse that would be quite a workhorse um, so as I say I'm open to ideas for that one I do like the Atelier, Atelier Dupe patterns, and I do have the Olive, 
olive blouse that I haven't done yet. So I might do that one actually. And that is the So Haley Jane. So going back, So Haley Jane, top. So Haley Jane, definitely a sagebrush. So Haley Dane, Jane, definitely Florence skirt from Size Me Patterns, sagebrush from Friday Pattern Company. Beyond the Pink Door, definitely Miller Trousers from Paper Theory. Beyond the Pink Door, definitely Foxy Boxes, because Tamlin has, says, has said that Foxy Boxes in Double Gauze are awesome. And again, from Beyond the Pink Door, and this is going to be the new pattern release from Victory Patterns, I think I've pronounced it right, Rowan, Rowaner jumpsuit well that's it from me today please feel free to click and subscribe and please click and like my video if you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you again soon thank you very much for stopping by bye